Hello students, welcome to the first session on PowerPoint presentation and this is my first class on PowerPoint presentation. So before starting the subject, uh, I'm sure you all know how to, uh, you all know what is PowerPoint presentation. Uh, I would like to explain some advantages and disadvantages of using PowerPoint presentation. Um, the advantages of using PowerPoint presentation is quick and easy. The basic features are easy to master and you can make uh, and can make you appear to be organized even if you're not. See, um, it has very simple basic features uh, which you can easily learn and uh, which can make you appear to be organized if you're giving a presentation to your colleagues or in your friend circle or to your students or whoever the audience are. Second is simple bullet points. It can reduce complicated messages to simple bullet points. Bullet points are a good basis for a presentation and remind the speaker of main points and the organization of message. When we are giving a PowerPoint presentation to the audience, we are not going to uh, write stories and stories on your presentation. We will uh, simplify, uh, we will write down some bullet points, which uh, simple bullet points, which, could, which gives a good basis for a presentation and uh, uh, remind the speaker of main points, what you have to talk about, uh, what are the main points of the PowerPoint presentation. Easy to create a colorful, attractive design. Using the standard templates and themes, you can create something visually appealing. Even if you do not have much knowledge of basic uh, graphic design principles, uh, it comes up with loads of designs and animation themes, students, which we will learn in our classes, in our, in our course in our class uh, where you can create a really colorful attractive design you don't have to be mastered in graphic designs uh, uh, software you can do all those things in this simple PowerPoint presentation easy to modify when compared to other visual aids such as charts posters objects it is easy to modify you can do changes in your presentation easily easily reorder presentation with a simple drag and drop or using keystrokes, you can move the slides, reorder the presentation, which we will learn eventually in the classroom or if you're doing online studies. Finally, the PowerPoint is integrated with other products that allow you to include parts of documents, spreadsheet and graphics. You can also import videos from other and you can embed in your PowerPoint presentation spreadsheet you can embed your presentation. So it allows you to integrate the presentation with other other parts uh, uh, with the other products. Delivery. How do you deliver the uh, presentation uh, to your audience? First, audience size. PowerPoint slides are generally easier to see by a large audience when projected than Azure uh, than other visual aids. You must have noticed whenever there is a presentation on PowerPoint, it comes up on a big screen. Easy to present. You can easily advance the slides in the presentation one after the another with a simple keystroke while still maintaining eye contact with the audience. Uh, you can easily move, see that you can press enter on the key, enter on your laptop or a down arrow or up arrow or you can use the mouse or you can use a remote nowadays to go into the next slide so you don't have to go back to your computer so you can easily maintain eye contact with the audience and also you can keep changing the slides. No need for handouts. They look good visually and can be easily read if you have a projector and screen that is large enough for the entire room. Yes, uh, no need for handouts, no need for small prints. Okay, this uh, we explained some advantages. Now let's look into the disadvantages of PowerPoint uh, slides. Design PowerPoint less gives the illusion of content and coherence when in fact there's really not much substance or connection between different points in the slides. This is if your if your slides are not related to each other, you're talking about something uh, on a first slide and in a totally different topic on a second slide. So there is no link between the slides that will, uh, that will not uh, catch the uh, attention of audience. Of course, audience will be lost. PowerPoint access. Some speakers create presentations so they have slides to present rather than outlining, organizing, and focusing on the messages. Too much of animation, too much of transition, 
a lot of things are going on in the um, PowerPoint presentation rather than uh, the message that you want to give it to your audience. That will also, uh, that's also a disadvantage, that's also distract the attention of audience. Replaces planning and preparation. PowerPoint is a convenient prop for poor speakers as it can reduce complicated message to simple bullet points and elevate style over substance. Uh, this uh, pop, this is a convenient prop for poor speakers. This is an advantage here. The, the, you know, if when you don't know what you're talking about, when you know what you want to read about, this replaces the uh, uh, PowerPoint is a convenient prop. It gives, uh, it reminds the speaker what you want to talk about, what is the message that you want to give to your audience. Uh, but at the same time, if you're not planned, if you don't, if you haven't prepared for your presentation, then you will not know what you are talking about. So people completely, sometimes the sp uh, speaker can go without uh, actually planning or preparing your presentation, thinking that okay, fine, as soon as I go onto the stage, I will get an idea of what I'm saying and just seeing the PowerPoint presentation. It's not like that. You have to prepare yourself. You have to plan yourself. Oversimplification of topic. The linear nature of PowerPoint forces the presenter to reduce the complex subjects to a set of bullet items that are too weak to support decision making or show the complexity of an issue. If you just rely, uh, if you're just, uh, as I said, like, okay, fine, you're giving the bullet point, but you're not explaining what that bullet point is, what does it do, what are the advantage of that bullet point, you're not explain, you're clearly explaining that bullet point, then uh, the audience will not get a clear idea what you want to talk about, what is the presentation that you want to give about. That's the oversimplification of topics. So we have to keep all this in our mind when we are giving a presentation to our audience, some of these things. Uh, feature abundance. While the basic features are easy to use and apply, a speaker can get carried away and try to use all the features at once rather than simply supporting a message. Too many flying letters, too many animations, too much of sound effects without seeing much original thought or analysis can be a real issue. In many cases, the medium shoves the message aside. Yes, too much of anything is not good. Same case here also. Delivery. Basic equipment required. You will need to have a computer and a projection equipment in place to display the slides to the audience. Yes, you obviously need a computer and a projection. Uh, if you don't have that, then uh, you cannot give a presentation. Focus on the medium, not message. Too many people forget that they are making a presentation first and that the PowerPoint is just a tool, right? So here people have to focus on their message and PowerPoint is a medium that we are going, we are conveying the message, but people will forget that. Uh, so this way some of the advantages and disadvantages of a PowerPoint presentation students and I will be uploading this on your uh, VLE and also I'll be giving the link uh, on YouTube as we go. See you in my next slide. Bye.